Peggy 18. In 2001, a real-world exercise tested the emergency response to a bioterror attack on the continental United States. The operation was called Dark Winter. Within just a few days, the simulation spiraled out of control. The operation predicted a rapid breakdown in essential institutions, civil disorder, and massive civilian casualties. Dark Winter has revealed how vulnerable we've become. Our lifestyle, our security, our safety, depends on a delicate and unstable economy. We've created a system so complicated that we no longer understand how to control it. Oil, power, shipping, transport. We live in a complex world. And the more complex it gets, the more fragile it becomes. The system is built on a global supply chain that gets things where they're needed, just in time. We've created a house of cards. Remove just one, and everything falls apart. And what's fueling the system? Money. Americans can spend $90 billion in a single day of shopping. Last year, 200 million people swarmed their local stores on November 23rd. We call that day Black Friday. Did you know that a flu virus can survive on the surface of a banknote for up to 17 days? One day, there will be a pandemic. It could begin during the crush of Black Friday sales. A pathogen will jump from tainted banknotes to human skin, onto food, toys, children, and loved ones. By the time patient zero feels the first sore throat, millions of people will already be infected. From this point, the breakdown will happen fast. Day one, hospitals will reach capacity. Panic will strike. Day two, quarantine zones will be established. Resources will be rationed. Transport will go into lockdown. Day three, international trade will stop. The oil will dry up. The stock market will collapse. Day four, the power will fail. The shelves will be empty. The taps will run dry. And once hunger and despair take hold, people will do anything for survival. By day five, everyone will be a potential threat. Even though this Black Friday, you can sleep in. Black Friday. Black Friday. Retailers are calling this their super. 149,000 stores offering Millions sales in the in cash government. sales changing hands. The stores. <laughs> the flu season is off to its earliest start. Seems to be a previously unknown variant of the flu. Really? Suspected case catching many experts off guard. Fact. Today I was feeling like maybe I. On the breaking news leading with unconfirmed reports of a, a smallpox small outbreak. outbreak is a highly rehearsed scenario. And National Guard units converging no on a hospital trains. in Central The bridges are closed. It's a war zone. It's a very real more danger. More than more than a There's bowl. not enough vaccines. No, let me going. stop you there. This is not a panic situation. An entire American city. No, 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 no. Green poison. Central Park has been converted to a mass burial ground. Power outages, gas line leaks, fires. The government is expecting another night of widespread looting. The people of New York are begging. What would have happened? The first responders are either dead. No resources available. Treat it like animals. It's not a job. We're not trained for. This. 